guys, welcome to a huge perfume haul that I have for you here and here. So if you love fragrances, then definitely keep watching. So in today's video, I'm doing a humongous haul, guys, all fragrances. And I don't think I have hauled a video like this for you guys before, full of perfumes. But guys, I spent a couple of days buying fragrances that have been on my wish list for the longest time and I can't wait to unbox and share these perfumes with you so there's a sneak peek. So let's start this video. If you're new to my channel and you love fragrances and a feminine lifestyle, my name is Charlene, welcome to my channel. I would love to have you subscribe to my channel if you have not yet done so and I cannot wait to share these perfumes with you. So guys, I'm going to take you along with me to the Juliet Has A Gun event and share with you all the highlights of that evening, so stay tuned to the very end. So this spring I decided to treat myself to a few fragrances that I cannot wait to haul with you guys. I can't wait to share these perfumes. Some perfumes have been on my wish list for the longest time. So this is going to be a long, cozy video. So I'm going to touch on a few of the fragrance notes, tell you where I think these perfumes are best suited for in terms of the occasion and things. And um, yeah, I would love to know your feedback. Starting off today, um, please share with me your fragrance of the day. For today, I am wearing Dior Riviera, which is the newest fragrance by Maison Francis Cote de Jean. I am wearing that today and I'm feeling so summery. I cannot wait for the summer to finally arrive here in the UK. I'm going to start off with all the fragrances that I have in this box here. I have quite a few perfumes um, that I collected just yesterday. So I've opened one of the fragrances because I couldn't wait. <laughs> but um, let's just get into it. So I wanted fragrances that were a very much like a summery vibe and I think there were two fragrances on my wish list that I've had for the longest time. So I'm going to save those two towards the end because they're more of a autumn winter vibe. So guys I've been shopping away in Harrods and I received this lovely tote bag filled with lots of goodies, lots of miniatures of skincare and hair care, there's oils, skin treatments and such and also miniature fragrance in here, which I am super happy that I have this perfume in my collection. So I'm gonna share that with you. I'll share the perfume with you guys, but if you would like to see the contents of this bag, I could film a separate video and share what's inside here. I'm going to start off with the newest perfume I've added to my collection, which is Passissoire, guys. So Passissoire is a fragrance that I've been wanting for a long time and I think when I was introduced to the house of BDK I think that was the very first perfume I fell in love with and then I tried another perfume as well and I was just totally in love with these two perfumes so I finally added this perfume I'm going to unbox this and share the fragrance with you and I love the notes listed in here when I first tried this perfume, I love how it performed, I love how it radiated. I love the fact that this perfume is sweet, but not sickly sweet, and it's quite grown up at the same time. And I think it's just going to be a really nice daytime fragrance for me to wear that's going to make me feel a bit refreshed, a bit cool as well. It's really pretty. This perfume, I feel you can wear it to most occasions, and yeah, it's going to be like my new daytime scent. So Passe Soir opens up with ginger, black pepper, but for me, it's that quince note. And guys, if it's one thing in the fragrance, I love the note of pear and quince. They share similarities. And even when it comes to perfumes as well, I feel like it has a similar style. So if you like pear fragrances, you're probably going to be in love with the note of quince as well. One of my favorite perfumes, which is Chance or Tendre, does have the note of quince. And this one is a bit sweet. It's almost like a sweet champagne, a little bit fruity. And guys, I just love this perfume. Passe is a fragrance you guys have heard many times, especially here on YouTube. I've just added this to my collection now. I think I've only just had it for a day or two because <laughs> I bought it this weekend. And I do love this fragrance, guys. Oh my goodness me, it's a fruity floral. 
it has orange in there there's orange blossom and it has the note of quince guys with ginger there's some patchouli in here and you guys know i love patchouli and amberwood also so this is a fresh fruity perfume without it being too sweet I love the note of quince guys I find it just to be a beautiful daytime scent this to me is girly playful but still elegant and mature when I say mature especially on my channel it's not always pertaining to your age it's about the way you carry yourself or your state of mind the way you think the way you act you can be a very mature 18 year old this just smells grown up in other words it smells sophisticated but playful at the same time and that's what i love about passissoire so this is something i'm excited to be sharing here on my channel so guys the next fragrance i have added to my collection is a fragrance from bdk that i fell in love with immediately it's because it reminded me so much of one of my favorite perfumes a fragrance i always pick up it's like my grab and go perfume my daytime fragrance it's the most feminine playful scent i own and that is chante au tendre so i have bouquet d'angri and this is a fragrance i wanted to add to my collection for so long finally it's here and that's the fragrance just there. And already I'm just in love with the juice alone. The color is so pretty. I do love anything pink, it's my favorite color. So <laughs> this is really nice and feminine. Now, the reason why I love this fragrance is because when I first tried this perfume, it reminded me of Chante au Tendre, which is my favorite fragrance. And it's a fragrance, it's my grab and go, it's my easy reach, it was my signature scent. And this is the niche version to that perfume. There's a note of pear and there's strawberry in here and I just love that. We have musk, there's amber in here. So guys, it's all the notes that I love. So I'm just going to take it out here. Guys, this is a feminine fragrance, so I just needed to have it in my collection. And guys, oh gosh, I just love this perfume. So I'm going to spray a little bit here on my hand. I might spray it here. I am saving space for a very special perfume at the end. Um, let's spray it maybe here next to Passoir, might as well. Guys, this is Chance, <laughs> Chance au Tendre. Immediately pear and strawberry. And now it's warming through. I'm getting this woody note, guys. It's so gorgeous with the musk. There's rose, there's jasmine, guys. I'm so happy this is in my collection. Guys, I love the juice of this fragrance. It's so beautiful, so pretty, the perfect pink. This is something I'll be wearing in the daytime, guys. Let me know what you think of this perfume. And if you had to choose, if you already own Chance, or if you have both of the fragrances, which one do you prefer out of the two? Do you prefer Bouquet d'Ancre or do you prefer Chance au Tendre? Please let me know down below. Gosh, guys, I love, love, love. <laughs> so happy for this one. The next fragrance I am hauling is Delina La Rose. This is a perfume I've been wanting in my collection for a little while. And because I already have all of the Delinas apart from this one, I was thinking, did I really need another Delina, guys? And of course, guys, I had to give in. I, I had to go out and buy this perfume because it is the fresh notes that I do love in that fragrance. I love how airy and how clean it is. So yes, I do have Delina La Rose now, and it's going to be, again, a very easy grab and go fragrance, very daytime. It's clean, it's, it's watery. I love the watery notes in there. We've got lychee, rose, pear, there's watery notes. Those are the notes I do love. But for me, I'm looking for fragrances that are dainty and highly feminine and this just matches my taste so I had to have this in my collection guys I'm super happy about this so guys I have the bottle here and it's so beautiful and pink love the frosted bottle love the tassel detail I love how you can just see the juice sort of going through the glass bottle here and it's gorgeous guys. What I do love about Delina La Rose is the fact that it is long lasting for a fresh perfume. It's floral, it's fresh, there's the pear in here, the musk peony notes guys. This is so pretty but it does last on my skin and I'm really shocked on how well this performs. That's the reason why I purchased it and initially guys I like this fragrance but 
I was really drawn to my Delino exclusive. That one is my favorite from the three. But because I already own the original Delina, I was like, do I need this in my collection? A fragrance that's not going to last. That's the reason why I didn't buy it. And it was only until I started wearing this perfume, this was lasting on my skin for more than seven hours and I was shocked. So that's the reason why I own it now. <laughs> so that's my Delina La Rose. The next fragrance I have in my collection is a Givenchy perfume. <sighs> Guys, guys, guys. Now you are going to see a theme running through this video. There is a fragrance note that I am drawn to. There's a style that I'm loving. And you guys, I think if you've been watching my channel, you know my style. But when I tried this fragrance, thanks to a wonderful subscriber out there, thank you for sharing this perfume with me. This is the reason why I own this, it's because of you. Thank you for writing to me and telling me to go out and try these fragrances. I've bought it and guys, I am telling you, this perfume is amazing. This is your designer perfume that just smells so pretty, feminine, dainty, elegant, as projection. It's long lasting, the bottle is stunning, the color of the juice is my style. Let me share this fragrance with you. <laughs> The fragrance I have is Irresistible by Givenchy. Guys, 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 how did I miss this fragrance? I do not know how. This is so beautiful. This is a feminine floral perfume. It is soft, it is musky, it is dainty, it is everything that I love. This is my fragrance style, guys. Why is it that I'm just discovering this perfume now? That's so bizarre and I think sometimes what happens is for myself or as a content creator, someone who reviews fragrances, sometimes you search so hard and the fragrance is just right in front of you. This is that perfume. This to me has that vibe once again of my Bouquet de Ancre by BGK, Chance Autande as well by Chanel. It's that feminine, floral, dainty, airy fragrance. Now this perfume has longevity. This perfume is strong and beautiful. This again is that note of pear and rose with some iris, musk and cedar. Now this fragrance has pear and pear and quince are two very similar notes and I think that's the reason why this reminds me so much of my Chante Autant. So if you do love that sort of vibe, then I do recommend this fragrance for you. And the price point is quite good as well. This is an 80ml bottle, so this is going to last me quite a while. But guys, I just cannot wait to be, you know, wearing this daytime event. Actually, I could wear this all year round. It's one of those sort of signature scents. Absolutely, it's just so nice. I love the rose and cedar mix in here with that musky base. And this has a touch of iris and it's an iris that's only a little dash, which I do like. Iris, I don't mind in fragrances, but it's not my thing, if you know what I mean. It has to be blended in the right way. And the iris in here is just what I like. But it's that pear, it's the ambrette in here, guys. This is so pretty. It's such a feminine perfume. So I'm really happy to have this. If you were a fan of Miss Dior, Miss Dior Cherie, and sort of dainty feminine perfumes, such as my Chance as well, then you should love this one. Try this out. It's a really nice, elegant scent for everyday wear. So that's my Irresistible by Givenchy. Also, I was gifted rose velvet as well. And to be honest, I was super lucky because on that day, I was thinking of buying both fragrances and I received this one for free. Now, this is a 10 ml spray. So now I'm going to have the chance to try this fragrance out and wear it and see how I really feel about it before I purchase it. But I did try this fragrance and I loved it on the card and I did try it on my skin as well. And I, did like it but now I can really wear this perfume and have a true feel for longevity for performance and just to see if I really like this fragrance enough for me to go ahead and buy it if you do own this fragrance I would love to know your thoughts on this do you think I need to buy it if I already have the original please let me know but yes I'm excited to try this one too I have a few more perfumes in here and I'm not so sure how I feel about these. So let's start off with this one here. The perfume I picked up was Burberry Hair, 
the elixir and guys the reason why i'm not so sure about this fragrance is because i already own the other parfum version and i love that version very much the elixir focuses mainly on that strawberry note and it has a more creamy more like tonic dry down so it's softer on the skin it's milky and it's a fragrance you can easily wear without overthinking it it's not too sweet but it does come across like a very soft strawberry milkshake now i do like this fragrance but at the moment i feel like it's just too similar to what i already have even though it does perform in a different way so i'm not sure if i'm going to keep this in my collection i did spray some on my card here and guys it's like a milky strawberry perfume it's softer it's easy to wear it's really pleasant it's a nice perfume and i feel like this fragrance is just not too sweet and not too much it's very pretty but i just feel like it's just too similar to what i already have i don't think it's different enough for me to keep it as yet so if you own both please let me know your thought. flower bomb dew now guys let's have a chat about this fragrance so i'm a huge fan of flower bomb and i just missed out just by a couple of months on the midnight is it called midnight flower bomb i missed out on that fragrance and it's such a shame i didn't buy it but i was really really loving that fragrance it was focusing more on the black current note in the fragrance before anything else is due to be discontinued let me run out and buy the flower bomb dew now this perfume i do like i feel like it's easier to wear than my original flower bomb because that one's quite intense it's heavily floral quite sweet very pretty but it's quite a strong perfume and sometimes you just want something a little bit more toned down especially for daytime wear and this perfume is just that i think it's the toned down version and quite pleasant but then guys the longevity i'm struggling with longevity on that fragrance so guys if you feel like it's not worth me keeping this please let me know in the comments down below if you own this fragrance i have a lovely friend here on youtube her name is alithia and she owned this fragrance and she decluttered it because <laughs> it doesn't last as well she was highly disappointed but I do love how this perfume smells. So should I keep this fragrance? I don't know, guys. I am such a huge fan of Victor and Rolf's perfumes and I'm actually quite gutted that they discontinued their entire private line. They had beautiful rose perfumes that were so nice and they were all discontinued and I had no idea, so I missed out on those as well. Yes. The next fragrance that I want to haul is a fragrance by Valentino. Now, this is a fragrance that is new, and this is the Born in Roma Intense. And guys, I have a 50 ml bottle here, the 1.7 ounce. And again, should I keep this fragrance? Now, the reason why is because this is beautiful, and I think this is my favorite from the whole entire collection. It's quite a soft dry down that I like, easy to wear. But I just feel like, do I need this fragrance right now? so guys i'm not so sure how i feel about this perfume and because i've hauled so many fragrances i want to be transparent and realistic with you guys i just feel like i'm not going to pick this fragrance up enough for me to wear it and it's all about buying a fragrance and having the cost per wear make sense to you guys if you are going to spend a fortune on a fragrance you need to be wearing this fragrance as your signature scent you need to be wearing this fragrance often and even if it's priced a little bit lower the same rule applies you need to be wearing your fragrances or have them on a rotation i just feel like I do like this perfume. I don't own any fragrances by Valentino and I just like this one, but I just feel like out of my <laughs> collection now, am I really gonna reach for this? So I'm really gonna think about these fragrances because I don't want to be buying and decluttering. Guys, you know how I feel about that. I don't really like decluttering fragrances. When I buy a fragrance, it's for a reason. I have a connection to the perfume. I enjoy wearing it or I have a special memory tied to it. So I don't want to buy to return. I buy my fragrances to keep for life. And um, unless I blind bought it and it just went wrong and you know, then that's different. But um, I, I've tried this fragrance. I've worn it. So what do you guys think? Should I keep this one? 
or should I return it? That's another one in the line to return to that. But let's talk about fragrances. I know I am keeping. So I have three more perfumes to share with you guys. The fragrance I am actually keeping this time round is just here. And this is a beautifully wrapped, I don't even want to open it, <laughs> beautifully wrapped fragrance by Christian Dior. And I think everything here, my, my lighting's a bit bright. Um, but this is a new fragrance by Dior that, actually it's not a new fragrance. It's new to my collection, but it's a fragrance that I've been wanting for the longest time. And this perfume is so beautiful and it's going to be discontinued, guys. So, let me share the fragrance with you. So I have Belle Du Jour here. And Belle Du Jour is a beautiful pear fragrance. Now guys, do you see the theme that's been running through this video? It's the note of pear, guys. I love pear in fragrances. This is so pretty. And it combines pear and rose, guys. That just makes me super happy. <laughs> so I'm going to unbox this one and share the fragrance with you. Here we have Belle Du Jour. This is a beautiful fragrance with rose pear, powdery notes, white peach, ice cream, and white pear and woody notes. Oh my gosh, when I first tried it, it was love at first sniff. And I think the main reason why I didn't buy this fragrance many years ago, I'm so annoyed I didn't buy it back then. I would like this fragrance to be my signature scent, so I don't mind the size at all. And it's going to be discontinued, so it's fine. But this perfume is a gorgeous daytime fragrance for me. It's so pretty guys so so pretty it smells like vanilla with a touch of a soft rose and lots of pear and it's a sweet pear and it's so beautiful so nice a little bit woody as well with the rose guys it's a little bit powdery and dainty and i just think it's stunning i love this fragrance and i'm happy to wear this every single day I think the fragrances I have lined up today in this haul video are going to be my signature, <laughs> signature scents, um, perfumes I'll be picking up and wearing on a daily basis. So let's just mark this um, line here because I'm hoping it's going to be going down very soon because I'm just so in love with this and I'm happy to overspray this because I love it so much. Because it's a beautiful perfume but I don't think it radiates very far so. I might need to overspray this one anyway. So that's my Belle Du Jour. And if you do own this fragrance, guys, let me know what you think of this perfume. Now, the next perfume I have was ever so kindly gifted to me from the team at Juliet Has A Gun. This is their newest release, guys. Now, this is a beautiful fragrance called Lust for Sun. So this one I'm going to be unboxing for you guys now and trying this one. Guys, the event was amazing. The cocktails were so stunning. They had the ceiling full of flowers. There's like a pool behind. It was just so much fun, guys. But the cocktails were just so dreamy. And especially the one in the coconut, the actual coconut, it was so good, guys. I had about two of those. And I had a chance to go to the other side and try out a lot of the other fragrances. And I think there's about four fragrances I'm so in love with. I love their pear fragrance. Oh my gosh, guys, it's so gorgeous. Again, yes, pear. <laughs> but this is the newest perfume. And here we have all the notes listed and that's the campaign just there and it's just so gorgeous guys so so much fun so i'm going to open up this fragrance and spray it again for you guys and lust for sun is that tropical fragrance that i always love it's like there's a certain perfume note or style i'm looking for for this time of year and it's the coconut frangipani it's all of those notes. So let's open this one up here. And there it is, Lust for Sun. Do you know what? It's the atomizers for me. That I love. I love the spritz on this. It's really nice and airy. Wow, frangipani. I feel like this one is even stronger than what I tried. So Lust for Sun, we have Freesia, Coconut and Bergamot. In the heart notes, we have Alang, Manoit, Orange Blossom and gardenia in the base we have vanilla and broxan and musk so i do get that sort of creamy and broxan musky note in the base there's vanilla the coconut the manoyan here 
guys this is your tropical scent for the summer this is a fun fragrance guys if you like tanning oil that sort of notes i get a lot of gardenia in here actually and i do like gardenia this is really pretty and fresh it's really nice so that's lust for sun so guys the next perfume i have is a fragrance that i've had on my radar for the longest time and i actually wore this perfume in dubai and when i tried this fragrance i was just like oh wow this is stunning i really wanted to have this fragrance in my collection because it's one of my favorite perfume notes it's the note of orange blossom now i have the fragrance right here i'm going to open it up for you guys now this fragrance is a beautiful fragrance that I don't know, it just smells so elegant, extremely pretty. It's sweet, elegant, floral, daytime, but you can wear this during the evenings for sure. It's a stunning fragrance. And guys, I'm trying to watch when I use that word stunning, but I don't want to overuse that word because I really want you guys to know when I'm so in love with that fragrance and I find this to be a stunning fragrance. So let's open it up. I took this fragrance to Dubai and I wore it in high heat guys, in humidity, I wore it in the daytime, in the evenings and it radiated so well, performed so nicely. It's just a beautiful scent to wear and guys it is one of my favourite perfume notes. I can't wait to open it. <laughs> I love the presentation of this box, it's, it's so beautiful and it's wrapped up so nicely. The fragrance I have here is Neroli Blanc. We have a little wax seal that I had to go and remove there. But this is the fragrance, guys, hiding in here. And I've been wanting this fragrance for so long. You can just see how rich and intense this juice is, guys. It's so dreamy. Okay, I'm gonna have to spray this one for you guys. So Neroli Blanc, we have orange blossom, orange, and bergamot. In the heart, we have fruits, jasmine, and rose. And then in the base, we have vanilla, sandalwood, musk, and cedar. Guys, that's just like my favorite base note, I have to say. Cedar and musk, sandalwood, vanilla. I love that base, that's just me. And then the heart of jasmine and rose, and lots of orange, orange blossom and orange fruits. So, guys, this is your sweet orange blossom guys so nice so so nice okay, let's spray a little bit of this fragrance here on my hand oh wow guys immediately it's like sugar but the sugar reminds me of it's so sweet it reminds me of candy like a molten if you were to melt a lollipop it's like that sugary sweet and then now the sugar is changing it's turning into that candy floss type of sugar and then it's orange blossom and it's getting stronger and stronger and more intense guys this is so beautiful it's really nice gorgeous scent this and guys like i said i was wearing this a lot on vacation so this does remind me of my trip to dubai and I love it for that reason. I pick up a lot of the vanilla and sandalwood in this perfume mixed with that orange fruit and the orange blossom. There's the rose notes in here and jasmine. But for me, I'm picking up a lot of the base notes, orange and orange blossom, and lots of sugar, candied sugar. That's my Neroli Blanc. Okay. So guys, lastly, I have the fragrance that I received from my gift with purchase. And this is a fragrance by a house that I have been trying out their perfumes for a while now and I would like to spend some more time learning a bit more about this brand because I am loving their fragrances guys my goodness me their perfumes the way it's blended and they're quite unique and complex but so many different elements um, you know together I just love that it's really different anyway I would like to spend more time with this house and the house is called Floraiku and I have one umbrella for two and I have a 10 ml perfume bottle here and this fragrance is a blend of tea and spices now guys you know I love tea and I love spices with cardamom being my number one and nutmeg I think but this perfume 
doesn't blend the cardamom, not to my knowledge. It blends blackcurrant, germanite tea, and some cedar oil. Now this is a 10 mil. This is a really nice size as a gift. I mean, 10 mil for me now in my collection, I'm very happy with the 10 mil because I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this. Now this perfume, when you spray it, guys, I'm gonna spray a little bit here on my skin. I've got so much on my skin. Um, I might spray it here. My gosh, guys, when you spray this immediately, the first note, oh guys, the first note you pick up is bakery. It smells like baked goods. It smells like patisserie. It smells like an English tea party. It's so beautiful. One umbrella for two smells like, to me, a blueberry muffin. It smells like a freshly baked cake. It just smells like a blueberry pie <laughs> or a blueberry muffin. So you get that sort of patisserie or bakery feel like a cake and then you have a side of the blueberry fruit or maybe even that black currant but it's very juicy very sweet and you get this tiny bit of a popcorny rice note mixed with the baked goods guys this smells like a tea party it smells so nice the cedar the woods in here i don't really pick up and I really love this fragrance. This is actually my favorite perfume from the house. So yes, I wanna spend some more time learning about this fragrance. If you own this fragrance, let me know what you think of Floraiku. I do know they are a niche house and their fragrances are so gorgeous. There's another perfume called Cricket Song. Again, stunning perfume. So I'm going to have to spend some more time talking about that house, but this one here is really gorgeous. It says here, secret teas and spices. I do like that, it's quite nice. I do love the way how they present their fragrances as well. Really interesting. So that's the artwork for Floraiku. Guys, I have one more fragrance to mention for you guys. It is the new release by Francis Kip Dijan. It's his introduction to the latest creation for the House of Dior. And this is Dior Riviera. I have a decant size here, and this fragrance is a fig and rose perfume. I've been wearing this fragrance, and this is a green figgy perfume with a touch of rose. On the dry down, it does soften up and becomes a little bit like a woody, green fig fragrance and I do love it. It does smell fresh, it's airy. To me, I get this tad of a salty, very airy note in the opening, but it's very much a sharp green fig. I pick up a little bit of this green note. It smells like a citrus peel. It could just be a little bit of lime, bergamot or lemon peel in here. That's what I pick up when I smell this initially. And then I get that very strong green fig. It smells like an unripe fig. So the skin is still quite firm and leathery, very green. And that's what I pick up. And then on the dry down, you start to pick up a little bit of the rose note and you pick up a very delicate, sweet note from the rose, but it's not gourmand or anything like that. It's just a sweet floral touch that really softens off the fragrance. So Dior Riviera is your new freshy perfume to add to your collection that's very green and dries down to a little bit more of a smoother take on the fragrance. And to me, the opening is a little bit more masculine, but this is a unisex perfume for sure. And it dries down for me, because you know I like feminine fragrances. To me, that's when I detect a little bit more of the femininity in this perfume is on the dry down. So that's my Dior Riviera. So guys, if you made it this far to this video, well done. I have been talking for so many hours, it feels like now, and so happy to share these perfumes with you. I have only just unboxed all of these fragrances because I just picked them up this weekend and if you have not as yet subscribed to my channel then I do invite you to click that button down below turn on your notifications give this video a like and share this video to a friend but yes thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end so guys stay tuned for the lust for sun event I'm going to share with you all the highlights from the Juliet has a gun evening that we had and if you do have a fragrance from the collection please let me know i think for myself i'm loving the pear perfume and vanilla vibes please let me know down below what is your favorite from the house darlings keep watching and i will see you in my next video have a wonderful day
bye so guys i'm on my way to an event this afternoon and i'm going to be wearing a dress that i just received a few weeks ago can't wait to wear this dress it's so pretty this is my style guys and it's all about the detail in the back so i can't wait to share this dress with you i'll see you guys when i get there And yeah, we're off to get some lunch. And um, I'll catch up with you guys soon. Bye.